1930 was the first year when Volvo produced a special car for taxi purposes. Taxis were important for Volvo, both as a business, but it was also a statement of quality. If a car would last and could do the heavy work that a taxi does, it had to be supreme quality. Now, this particular car, this beauty, is the Volvo PV831. Now, it was introduced in 1950, and it was replacing the outgoing model, which was the TR800, which was the uh, previous taxi model. Now, you can see that it borrowed the design elements from the Volvo PV444, much smaller, of course, but this one has been scaled up. You can see the vertical grille, fantastic. You see the little indicators and, you know, the very marked shape of the bonnet. Now, speaking about the bonnet, let's open that up and have a look what's inside in here. Here, we will find an inline straight six cylinder engine, 3.7 liter delivering 90 brake horsepowers. Enough to get this machine moving. These foldable rear seats, of course, increase the capacity of the car. And if they were not needed, you could fold them forward and use that space to really ah, stretch your legs. Ah. Now, next to every seat, there is one of these. It's a cigar lighter. It's not a cigarette lighter, no, no, more exclusively a cigar lighter. Ah, I must say I love this back hang door so I'm making it so easy to get in and out of the car. Now once inside this fabulous car look at the design elements inside. A nice large big clock Simple, but very effective controls and buttons all over. Now, this particular version is an executive version of the 831, not the regular taxi. So we have slightly more plush upholstery. Now, this glass divider was, of course, very practical for two purposes. It gave the passengers in the rear seat the privacy with not having to fear that the driver would overhear their conversation in the back. But it was also quite good for the driver because he could shut out the sound from the people in the back and drive and concentrate on his driving. A reflection I make is that the pace was much slower in the 1950s. Just look at the pace of this indicator. Shall we go for a ride? So the car is equipped with a three-speed manual gearbox now and only the second and the third gears are synchronized. So the first one you need to be a little bit careful when you're getting into first gear. But it works fantastic. The torque is just amazing. There's hardly any need for changing gears like this. We're, we're actually in second gear right now and doing around 25 kilometers per hour. So it's really strong and very good to drive.